Day 883, it is nine o'clock-ish and I'm laying down. Went to church today, I was just off all day. Just like, not myself, just kind of meh. Um, yeah, it was just like not, not feeling any of it. Um, just tired, I'm just mentally, mentally tired. Um, I realized at church, like, I'm just I'm trying to do all of this, like, in my own strength, not in God's strength, and I am, uh, yeah, I'm just not doing this with him, and I'm trying to do my own strength, and I just don't have the strength for it, and... Yeah, I just feel so overwhelmed. So many things to do, so many things to work on. The amazing thing is there's so much opportunity, but it feels like all that opportunity is so overwhelming because I don't even know where to start. And, um, yeah, I'm just like, just overwhelmed. Overwhelmed with opportunity. Um... And I just know that, like, my personal life, I need to get under control. Like, I gotta lose weight. Like, that's just so significant. Like, that's just such a huge piece of winning the battle every day. Um, and I just, I gotta lean on God's strength. And so I spent tonight just coming up with some things about just learning how I can win the battle today. Like, just when I wake up in the morning, how do I win today? Because my mind is so focused on a month from now, in the next year, having Warriors of God already be a movement, you know, already speaking on stages, having this thing done and that thing done. And I'm just like, I'm so in the future that I lose track of where I am right now. And although it's exciting, it can be a trap to to just be so far into the future. Um, like, I got to be where I am. So, and I can't do it in my own strength. So I found this Bible verse that I'm going to focus on this week, which is Isaiah 41.10 that says, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not anxiously look about you, for I am your God. I will make you mighty. Surely I will help you. Surely I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. It's just like God saying, I'm your God. Don't worry because I'm with you. Don't look around anxiously because I'm your God. I will make you mighty. I will help you. I will uphold you. Like he's going to do it. He's going to do it. And it's like, I have not been turning to God like, and, um, it's just crazy today when I was driving home from church, I was just thinking like, this week has been so hard, like mentally and emotionally, you know, I had to say goodbye to Araceli for, I don't know how long, but what I realized over these last few days since Wednesday of doing that is, man, she's like my rock. Like, she's been my source of so many things, like, um, especially my source of, like, rest. Like, she just, talking to her just lightens the weight on my shoulders. It lightens the weight on my heart, lightens the weight on my mind. Like, when I call her, it's just like, and I talk to her, and it's just like, oh, it's like the whole world disappears. It's like, she's my rest. It's like, she she removes all the the stress and the the worry and the anxiety and the overwhelm and she just and she doesn't even have to do anything just like talking to her and laughing and joking around like she's just been such a blessing and she just listens she lets me vent she lets me get this stuff out and you know i just realized that over the last year of us talking she really has become my best friend and I don't have my best friend right now. And it's really emotionally hard. I could feel everything building up. 
like a volcano, like an emotional, mental volcano where it's just like, <laughs> how do I release all this? And, you know, when I talked to her, I could laugh. I could feel love. I could... She's just the source of so much. And so it's just hard. Like... Yeah. And so I think that... Um, maybe God, part of why God is doing this is so that he can become my rock and my source of comfort and, and love and happiness and joy and laughter and <sighs> venting and yeah. So, yeah, it's just, uh. Like, not only do I love her so much, but, like, I love her so much, and she's just so much for me. She really is. And it doesn't matter, like, how bad my day is, how stressed or worried I am. Like, it's like the moment I see her or hear her voice, it's just like, ah, like, just instantly. And I don't have that right now, and it's rough. So, yeah. So these next three days until my Warriors of God call, I'm just, I'm just going to pursue God. Like, I have enough money to pay rent, and um, I'll be able to pay my other bills. It's like I was just going to spend these next three days just focused all in on getting a client, getting a client. But I got to take a, a mental break. Like, I'm just mentally exhausted. I'm just like, and it, it hit, like, today it just shows, like, if I go to church and I'm not on, like, there's something wrong. And, uh, yeah, I just, I need a mental rest. My mind feels so heavy. And I just need to breathe. And so I just want to, these next three days, like I'll, I'll do my coaching calls and, and all that. But I just want to just spend time with God. So, so that's what I'm going to do. But yeah, it's hard. Because, like, the thing is, like, I know, you know, I could call her right now. We could talk and all this would just disappear. It would just be, like, it would just be, it would just be gone. And it's such an amazing gift that she has to just, um, to make people feel so safe and comfortable and heard and understood and just the energy she has like it's just such an incredible gift when we were doing her her purpose coaching like her gifts were all in alignment with that and um yeah i don't think i've really ever had someone like that before so that just makes this even harder because i love her and she's my rock and now, I'm just like, uh, I feel like a mess, a mental mess, so...